Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to build landing pages using the builder. Okay, we're going to go to the builder and select the landing pages and then go to blank template. And we're going to start building it from scratch. Okay, we're going to focus on nine elements, the top ones uh, in this video. The first one being the container. It is the foundation of any page. We're going to add all other elements into the container. Another important element is the row, but we'll get to it later. Okay, the container has a fixed width of 1170 pixels. What we're going to do is click the pencil tool uh, in, in the selected container and go to attributes and remove the classes. Okay, now you can see that the width is no longer fixed, but it's spread at 100%. Okay, next we're going to add a row into the container. Okay, now you can see we have three columns within this row, but they're not of equal width. What we're going to do is select the layout and have three columns of equal size. All right, now let's add an element into uh, the first column. Let's add an, an image, which will be the logo. Okay, you can click the image, image icon or the pencil to go to attributes where you can align the image in the, in the column. You can also click on Media Manager to change it, or you can click directly on the image icon and change it there. Okay, let's upload a new logo. Let's use this image. All right. Okay, now um, a lot of websites have a telephone or an email at the top, so let's add, add that. What we're gonna do is drag the paragraph and replace the text in it. We're gonna start typing telephone. Okay, telephone. Yeah, and just type in a random number and make sure you type everything before adding the next element, the icon, which we're gonna we're gonna add here. Okay, now let's move the extra four. All right. Okay, now let's add an icon. All right, since this is the telephone, we're gonna add an icon on the phone. Easily like that. Okay, that's good. And now let's make it bold so that everybody can see it and change the color to stylize it a bit. Yeah, make it a bit larger. Okay. Now let's make a copy of it and change the text in a, to email and provide more contact details. So we just, yeah, replace the text, change the icon to an envelope. And yeah, sample email. Okay, now there's a small space, there's space between the two elements. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fix the margin and remove it. Yeah, okay, now you can see they're directly next to, next to each other. All right, now we have another column at the middle, in the middle that's empty. Let's add another uh, paragraph into it. Okay. Like that, delete the excess text. All right, uh, let's add a background to the, the top container so that we can easily see what we just created. What we're gonna do is go to background and select an image. Yeah, you can upload a new image if you want. We're just gonna select one of the existing ones. Okay, let's add another container to the page and continue building it. Okay, once again, we're gonna do a small trick and remove the classes. Okay, now it's set at 100%. Let's add another row, but this time let's not make it three columns. Let's add two columns, all right? Let's save and close, okay. Now we're gonna once again select the container that we just added the row to, and we're gonna add a background so we can see what we're working with. Now this time we're gonna upload a new image. And yeah, one of the backgrounds that we found. All right, now you can see it's, you can align it in the, um, in the container and set up different styles for it. Okay. Now let's add a header, add some text into it to make it look, look real, all right? Okay, we're gonna drag and drop the header element just like that. Okay, now let's edit it. 
change the color. Okay, now a bit darker. Okay. Okay, next, let's change the font. We have a collection of Google fonts, over 800. So just select whichever one you want. All right. That's good. Okay, let's add another one, another element. The divider just lets you easily break down content into different P uh, sections visually. So let's use that. Let's change the style once again. Let's do a dashed one, change the color, and make it a bit fatter, right? And change its height. Okay. Let's add more text to it. And we're gonna show you how to add not just text, but like let's let's create some bullet points, all right? Okay, so we're just gonna click Control Enter to take this uh, this part of text into a new paragraph within the, within this section, but it actually creates another small element. Okay, let's focus on this small um, text element right now. Click in front of it. Right click and click icons. All right, now we have removed the previous search and add the check. Okay, we're gonna duplicate it so that we don't have to do the whole process again. Yeah, let's stylize it a bit, right? Yeah, let's make it a bit, give it more breathing, breathing space. Okay. Yeah, change the color. I mean, you can change a lot of styles. Okay, we're gonna add a yellowish. Yeah, okay. Let's make it clear yellow. Okay, that's what we chose. All right. So let's add a button right now. Continue with the initial column. Okay. Click on the pencil and you can see the link options, but we click on the pencil to show you the width of the, this, uh, the button. So once again, you can type 100% and spread it out, all right? And if you don't want to do this, it's fine. You can just remove the width and it'll just automatically go back to the original setting. Okay, let's align it. Yeah, you, you can just align it on the page. But we're not going to do this right now. We're just going to set it at 100, set it at 100%, so that it just stands out. Let's uh, once again play with the styles. Okay, um, let's add a link and open it in a new tab um, to direct visitors. We're not going to submit any data. Okay, so that's that's saved. Let's stylize the button a bit. Let's add a background color. Yeah, make it a bit larger, just whatever you wish. All right, now let's go to the, to the column that we have left. Let's add an icon. Okay, once again, remove the width because it won't necessarily respond to your uh, to the position, to the alignment of the icon. And since uh, the icon is a text, you have to use the text styles to stylize it. Okay, we're gonna add an arrow to point to the call to, like we want pe people to look at the video, like in theory, right? So we're gonna add a video. Again, so you, you can see the video integration options, how we added it, just the link, different. Let's change the width so that it fits the width of the container. Okay, I, that was accidental, but it works. Okay, now let's carefully drag it. Whoops, yeah, let's go back and carefully drag it. All right, so we have the video element. Let's put it in the center. Stylize this section a bit more. Give it more space. Yeah, add the padding. Okay, that looks good. Now you, we have the breadcrumbs, but you can always go back to the like the element that contains the element that you selected. What we did, we just selected the container that 
holds the video to change the padding of the container. All right. Okay, so that's 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 basically it. Now let's see what it looks like on different devices. Not only what it looks like, but you can actually change the appearance on different devices. What we're going to do is change what it looks like on mobile devices. So let's decrease the size of the video. Okay, let's decrease the size of the header font. All right. Okay, so that looks good. So that's it for the first part of the video. That's the elements that we focused on and we'll continue soon.